G'day guys, welcome to Glen's Aussie Barbecue. Today we're doing smashed potato with parmesan and lemon thyme. Now if this is your first time to the channel, please understand I do swear a little bit through my videos. So if that's going to put sand in your underpants, you might want to boot scoot right about now. But for everybody else, let's get started. Now today I'm using red and white potatoes. I'm just going to bring them to a boil as if I'm doing mashed potatoes. A nice soft consistency. Now the amount of potatoes you use is all governed by the size of the cast iron pan you're going to be smashing them into. Now we're going to add some butter to our cold pan now. Don't go shy with the butter. Now we're just going to take that cast iron pan over to the stove now. Just going to warm it up a little bit, just enough to melt that butter. We don't want the cast iron pan hot, otherwise when you add your thyme, it'll spark and pop like popcorn. And we don't want that. Now I can't stress enough, use a good amount of lemon thyme or thyme if you can't get your hands on lemon thyme but it is just magical. Use this as a blank canvas and do what you want with it. Make it yours. Now potatoes are nice and soft, we're just going to tip them straight into the cast iron pan. I'm doing mine skin side up but it doesn't really matter and we're just going to smash them in with a fork. If you don't have enough potatoes just add some more. You can make this thin or thick. We prefer a thicker smashed potato but it's totally up to you. A thinner one will cook quicker. Now what we do now is season with salt and pepper. Now again, think of this as a blank canvas. Do what you want. And of course, more butter on the top. Now we're running our Big Joe today. We've got to set up for indirect heat. Deflect the plates in the middle position, running at 200 Celsius. Now we've got our Komodo cruising along here at 200 Celsius. Gonna pop our cast iron pan right in there like so. We'll come back around half an hour's time and we'll check it out. So we're 25 minutes down now, we're just going to have a quick look at this and it's looking bloody good. And we're going to spin that cast iron pan around in a minute just to ensure an even cook. But what we're looking for here is the potato is going to start pulling away from the outside of the cast iron there. It's just going to start pulling in. That's all that butter and heat. Just get a nice crust on the bottom. And once we get to that stage, we get that nice brown crust around the outside edge, we're going to go and add some cheese. But right now, we're just going to spin this around to ensure an even cook. Come back in another 20 minutes or so and check it out. So we are now right on the 48 minute mark. We've got a beautiful crusty edge. Now it's time for the next stage. I've got a mix of cheddar and, what is it, cheddar and mozzarella here actually. I was going to say something else then. But a little mix of cheddar and mozzarella. You can use whatever cheese you like. <laughs> Fuck yes. But this is the most important part. Parmesan. A literal shit ton of parmesan. Alright, we're going to close the dome now and we're going to go away. We're going to come back in around 10 minutes, we're going to see how that crust is formed on top. And then we'll do the next stage. Camera's too close. So we are just under an hour and 10 minutes down now. We're looking really good. I said before we put the cheese on it. 48 minutes, it was actually 55 minutes, I fucked that up there. Just going to add some lemons to the back there, get a little bit of char going on them. And right towards the end, I'm going to drizzle that lemon over there and dress it with some more fresh thyme from our garden. And then we'll take some photos and we're pretty much done now. But I'll probably come back just for something to do in between drinks. You know, that's what fucking happens. But you can see how that's pulled away nicely from the edge. It's nice and crispy. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Oh, all right, we'll come back. No, we might. Uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll probably come back. Probably come back. I don't know why, but it's, it's pretty well done. But we'll probably come back. We'll see what happens. An hour and twenty minutes in total. Still rock solid on two hundred Celsius. We've got the colour we want on top. We've got the lemon. <laughs> that is fucking hot. I'll put that back. I'll squeeze that on later on. I'm going to take this off now. Let it rest. Squeeze some lemon over there. Chuck some. Some what, what time on there? Take some photos, and that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit like and subscribe. I've done this cook many times. A lot of people have asked me for the process. Can't get any fucking simple than this. This is just such a fucking simple, simple, simple fucking dish, and you will love it. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Now we've got the Komodo cruise along here at 200 Celsius. Just gonna pop in our potato. What the fuck is this shit called again? Fuck me. Fucking next stage, you idiot. Now we've got the... 
We got the. Ah, me dead. So, to start doing the new step. Fuck me, new fucking step. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck. It's looking bloody good. I'm gonna spin that. Oh, that's fucking hot. Fuck me. So, we are. What we're looking for here is the padea. And dang we do. Fuck me. So we are an hour. So we are now an hour and fuck me fucking dead. Okay, let's fucking do it. <sighs> we are four hours down. Now we were. Now we. Now, now we are. Now we're running it now. Now we're using the indirect heat with the fucking fuck. And uh, now we've got our. Now we, and of course butter on the top. Now I always. Now I, And of course butter on the top. We run the commando. We're on, now we are running the now we've got the commando set up at, now we are running our big Joe today. Now we are running our big Joe today. We're set up for now we now we've got now we now we now we're using the commando today. We now we 